Good morning. Welcome to a little bit of hope this morning. It is a beautiful day outside. A little bit of rain now, but it's okay. It's supposed to be sunny later. It is the way it is. It is a day that the Lord has made and invited us to be a part of. So it is a day worthy of praise and worship, and that's what we're hearing in Psalm 95. Come, let's sing out loud to the Lord. Let's raise a joyful shout to the rock of our salvation. Let's come before him with thanks. Let's shout songs of joy to him. The Lord is a great God, the great king over all other gods. The earth's depths are in his hands. The mountain heights belong to him. The sea which he made is his along with the dry ground which his own hands formed. Come, let's worship and bow down. Let's kneel before the Lord, our maker. He is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hands. If only you would listen to his voice right now, don't darken your hearts. One of our problems, isn't it? We have a tendency to move off of praise and worship into other forms. And that's certainly one of the issues at hand in this psalm. Inviting to come and worship and bow down because he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, the sheep in his hands. And I look at this, and I see in verse 10, for 40 years I despised a generation. These people have twisted hearts. They don't know my ways. So in anger I swore they will never enter my place of rest. It's interesting because how we act, how we react, influences our objectivity and maybe even our ability to pray for our enemies or situations that are not uh, pleasing to us. It's a new understanding maybe of, of worship and of prayer and maybe even our life as a whole in our journey. It starts first with our willingness to sing out loud to the Lord, to raise a joyful shout to the rock of our salvation, for it is in Christ, is our salvation. Let's come before him with thanks, let's shout songs of joy to him. The Lord is a great God the great king over all other gods. There are no other gods, I might add, that are worthy of praise and worship in the eyes of a Christian. For we focus on one God, threefold one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But in this threefold God that we worship, we worship out of gratitude and out of understanding of how far God is willing to go for us. And it's interesting because when I look at praise and worship, a lot of what we sing, a lot of what we read is our understanding, which has taken thousands of years to come to this point. the Apostles' Creed, some of our songs are based on well, how we can describe God, how we describe God's goodness and grace, how we describe how God has changed our life. The God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, the same God through and through. But maybe that in itself is worthy of praise and worship, just that point. 
God doesn't change. Our situations might. But God certainly doesn't. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day and for this opportunity to come before you in praise and worship, to study your word, to understand your desire and your longing for us as your people, and understanding that you will do anything to reach out and draw us closer to you that we do not meet you at a certain level. You meet us where we are at. And in that, Lord, we thank you and we praise you because we each are in our own spots in life. We are each in our own situations. Some may be lifting up prayers for mercy today, others for anxiousness, or others grief of loss of a loved one. So Lord, hear each and every one of our prayers. Lord, we lift to you our joy, our happiness in who you are and whose we are. Lord, we lift to you all those who are grieving today, who have lost a loved one, a friend, maybe employment, maybe are grieving due to a situation we may not even be aware of. Lord, we also lift to you those who are continually healing, those who are in rehab, those that are facing surgery or a medical issue and just ask for healing, Lord. We lift up especially, Lord, those who are older and it takes longer to heal. Lord, we lift to you everything that is in our hearts, both good and bad. And we ask, Lord, that you move mountains. We lift to you, Lord, others, who we may encounter today, that our witness may open up opportunities to share how you are at work in our lives. We lift to you, Lord, our government officials, and ask for guidance. We lift you also our uh, actions and reactions, the war that's going on in Ukraine and other areas of the world, all the conflict, Lord, even conflict that's going on inside of this country. And we ask, Lord, that you hear our prayers, provide us a means by which we can touch lives for you in whatever those settings may be. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to worship you and for all you have done in us. For we lift all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, my friends, and welcome. It's great to see you this wonderful day. And thank you for watching. So, my friends, until we see each other again, uh, any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section below. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord watch over you always, protect you, and guide you. And truly, until we see each other again, be safe. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.